Hi guys. Welcome to Tech a Genius Academy. We are the industry led training providers for those who wants to build their career in data science, analysis, IoT, device driver, embedded Linux and many more. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Hello guys, welcome to the Tech Genius Academy. So today we are here to discuss the next session on Embedded Linux. Till now, what we have covered is how we can do the manual booting on BeagleBone Black, how we can flash the custom Linux on BeagleBone Black. So now we will move forward in kernel modular programming. In most of the embedded devices in Embedded Linux, so uh, we are writing the application the host machine and uh, we will execute the binary or we will just flash the executable in the target machine or you can say uh, in a like in a beagle bone black or in some other devices so today what we will do we will just write the kernel module program in the host machine and we will build over there and the executable the kernel object we will just transfer so we are not using flashing here because uh, um, it will take more time so it is uh, and uh, some people uh, uh, prefer the tftp boot so uh, if they just want to uh, execute a, sing a single application and all but not that the entire project so for the uh, single application so you just can uh, uh, transfer the file over the tftp so I'll explain you uh, in this session that how we can transfer the kernel objects over the TFTP and uh, we will execute the kernel object on BeagleBone Black. So uh, what we will do now, uh, we will just go to the terminal and uh, this is my directory and uh, we will just create one folder here embedded linux kernel programming el key okay so we'll just enter into this so now we're here i will just write like i'll just create one file here one for the kernel modular programming and uh, the file is you can say is kernel module dot c yeah so we will just include some uh, header files hash include linux slash module dot h Hash include Linux slash init dot h. We will include the scheduler. So, uh, in this, uh, now we will just write uh, init function. I'm just using my underscore in it void we can use uh, print k also we can use uh, uh, PR info also PR underscore info welcome to the embedded Linux kernel programming and we'll just return zero here. So this looks fine to me. Now we will just write the exit 
module the exit function bye bye so how we will call this using modules underscore init macro author is techo genius academy license is gpl description is sample kernel modular program So this looks uh, fine to me. So now we will just write the make file. So kernel module dot o export kernel root equals to taller. base install tir this is the directory where our linux is present our custom linux is present linux hyphen i have used 4.15 modules at the rate dollar make hyphen c dollar kernel root m equals to dollar this is the shell we are checking in pwd present working directory modules and for cleaning this modules will help you to uh, build the dot c file and will give you the kernel object at the rate dollar make hyphens we have changed the directory dollar kernel root m equals to dollar shell pwd and clean yeah so this is also fine so to build that what we will do we will write um make yeah so you can see here the dot ko is we can like we got the kernel underscore module dot ko 
so now how we will transfer over the tftp so first you need to install the tftp sudo apt install tftp the hyphen hpa yeah so for me it's like updated and it's already installed so for you it's like a for you it will install so now what we will do we will just copy this kernel module dot ko file over the var lib tftp boot okay so now we will go to the beagle bone black so we will go to that serial port terminal so this is our terminal i have already uh, run the beagle bone black i have already in the root so now here what we will do we will just create one directory here in bare linux kernel programming So we've, we are into that and now we will execute the command tf tp hyphen g hyphen r. Uh, okay, so before that I just need to check. So we can transfer over that. So if config. okay so this is not up and uh, let me check here 192 ping 19168 110.20 okay yeah so that is not up yet so if config yeah eth0 this is ready this is up we need to go here and how we can up the ethernet sudo if config enp so what is this enp3 is 0 yeah 192 168 110 20 up yeah so we will check yeah so it's up so now we will just take that file over the tftp kernel underscore module dot ko 192.168.110.20 yes so we got that so i'll just change the permissions plus x that's it so now you know that like uh, in the linux device driver so uh, if we need to check uh, that uh, a particular driver is uh, inserted or not so which command we have used we have used ls mode right in the linux device driver course we have discussed this so now in smooth so we will do this we will insert the kernel module okay great and uh, yeah welcome to the embedded linux kernel programming so this we have written and see it's inserted and now we can remove the module also bye bye yeah so in this way uh, we can write the application on the host machine and we can execute the application on beaglebone black over the tftp so TF tftp will help you to transfer the file or the application so uh, this is all about the uh, 
simple so we will uh, in the next session we will uh, introduce you to, to the more topics related to the kernel modular programming or uh, like uh, i am planning to uh, execute uh, this i square c device driver on beaglebone black so uh, soon you will get the uh, i square c driver on the beaglebone black thank you so much please don't forget to like share and subscribe